distal interlocking with the radiolucent drill attachment. The new radiolucent drill attachment greatly simplifies distal interlocking and reduces x-ray exposure of both patient and doctor. Special drill bits of 4 and 3.2 millimeter diameters are required. They should, however, last for about 100 correctly performed drillings. The drill attachment is simply slipped over the small AO air drill. For the workshop practicals, which use a light source, instead of an X-ray beam, the drill attachment had to be modified, as seen here. For comparison, on top the commercially available drill attachment, below the exercise model, and the small air drill. We use this image intensifier to insert the distal locking bolt. The light serves as a beam source, and the video camera as a receiver. Both are connected via a C-arm. The video monitor is turned on and off with a foot switch. We begin with the distal interlocking. For the first step, adjust the C-arm until the beam axis coincides with the axis of the distal interlocking hole. It must be perfectly round. Once the bone is exposed, the tip of the short 4 millimeter drill bit is centered in the distal perfectly round hole of the nail. While pressing the drill bit against the bone to prevent slipping, the drill as a whole is moved into the axis of the light or x-ray beam. Its perpendicular position to the nail axis is now easily verified and corrected if necessary. Drilling may now be started. Measuring of length of bolt, adding two millimeters for safe anchoring in the far cortex. Introduction of the bolt without tapping. The second locking bolt is drilled and introduced in the same fast, safe manner. 